Hey friends, in today's video we are going to do a post stomach virus cleanup. Um, now this doesn't really look that bad, um, but this was just one day with me being out of commission. Thank goodness my oldest Liam was such a big help and he was kind of able to really help me because my husband was out of town. I had to sleep most of the day. I mean I was like on the couch and with them but I was super out of it and thank goodness he can kind of really help out with Finn and fend for himself but I did nothing. And so all of this is just from one day and I do have to say that um, I did actually vacuum up a ton of goldfish <laughs> that was all over the floor already. I just ordered pizza because there was no way that I was going to be able to stand and like cook. So anyways, there's pizza everywhere and the kitchen is a mess and I have to get this house back in order because I was doing really well keeping it up. It had to get done and I was feeling much better than the day before. So I thought I would just take my time and clean up and I would just kind of film it along the way. So like I did stop and like take breaks because like you know how you just feel like after you're kind of recovering from being sick it's just like it it really just wears you out but because the boys had been sick before I had already washed and kind of sanitized all of their bedding I've already gone through one set of my sheets and kind of washed and sanitized all of my bedding but I needed to sanitize the couch and the pillow covers so that's what I'm doing today and I'm just going to wash the other throw blankets and just make sure that everything is just kind of clean and refreshed. Do you guys do that as well? Like the stomach flu or whatever has been through your house. Do you feel like you have to sanitize everything? I do. I know that our bathrooms have already been kind of wiped down and Clorox down as we were going through it. But everything else just kind of needed a refresh. This week I really wanted to have the dining room makeover video up but clearly I was not able to get everything all finished and decorated like I wanted to because you know we were sick but I was able to get most of it filmed. I was able to paint and you can actually see in this video that the dining room is um, painted. I still have to do the chair rail um, and just decorate a little bit but I do need Brian's help for a project before the makeover is like completely finished so that's going to actually be in another video but I will have the dining room makeover video up on Wednesday. So if you are interested in seeing how that turns out, then definitely make sure that you are subscribed and you have your notifications turned on. I greatly appreciate you guys so much, all of you who leave me sweet comments and who engage the comment section. I love chatting with you guys and really just like you guys watching my videos it just means the world to me and i'm so i'm so grateful to you added colors like the moon needs to some we don't care about the others you said my Like the moon is the snow, we don't care about
show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so On. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. You guys are going to have to let me know if you do this. So as you can see, I'm literally in the middle of sweeping, but I needed to change the clothes that were in the wash machine to the dryer so that the clothes would be dry by the time I was ready to fold them and put them away before bed. <laughs> so I just... I'm always doing things like that though, but it's really hard for me to do while I'm filming because I want to keep it like put together, but really when I'm cleaning like without filming, that's what I do. Like I'm doing like 10 different things at one time and they say that they, well, I guess research says that like that's kind of an ineffective way, but that's how my brain works sometimes and that's how I get things done. Sometimes does it end up badly and then there's just a big mess? <laughs> yes, but let me know if you guys do that as well. Like, do you get distracted when you're cleaning? One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you, yeah Got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again Chance. Loving you is all I wanted 
I'm wide open for a love affair Girl, when you're looking like that Close up, close up I'ma get close up to you, yeah Got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again Damn Girl, I need you How many times do I want you? Cause we could be so complete Baby, I'll let the one anyone know I was on your bed when you undressed Baby, when I pulled you in and felt your breath Then I knew the girl, I need you I'm Smiling like that, I could never resist it Smiling like that, I could never resist it Smiling like that, I could never resist it Smiling like that, I can never resist it Look at your pearls hanging by my bedside Still got your lips on paper in a trash line. I never knew love could be so sweet I never knew it would stay I never knew love like this would leave that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around and i hope you guys have a wonderful week thank you all again and i'll see you in the next one bye y'all